Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital teacher. Today I am here to start with the chapter number 5 of geography of unit 2 that is major landforms of the earth. So children get the ball rolling. Mountains, plains, landforms and people, plateaus, submarine and relief. Geographical terms, aggravation, the process by which low-lying areas increase in their elevation due to deposition of warm materials. Degradation, the wearing down of the earth's surface. Glaciers, rivers of ice that give rise to perennial rivers. Mountains, large masses of land that rise to great height above the surrounding areas. Plains, low-lying flatlands with very gentle slope. Plateaus, large masses of comparatively flat land that rise abruptly from the surrounding areas. The various landforms on the earth's surface are a result of two types of forces, internal and external. The internal forces act from inside the earth towards the surface. They act suddenly and cause an uplift or subsistence of the earth's crust, leading to the formation of mountains and plateaus. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are examples of internal forces. The external forces act on the surface of the earth. They act slowly and wear down the highlands depositing materials in the lowlands. Running water moving ice, wind and waves are examples of external forces. The wearing down of the earth's surface is called degradation. The deposition of the worn down materials in low lying areas increase the elevation of these areas. This is called aggradation. Both the process of degradation and aggradation work simultaneously and thus bring about equilibrium on the earth's surface. The landform on the earth's surface are grouped under three major divisions, mountains, plateaus and plains. So mountains. Mountains are land masses of the earth's surface rising abruptly from the surrounding area. Mountains generally consist of parallel ranges with several peaks forming a chain. Mountains vary in age and shape. The Himalayas in Asia and the Alps in Europe are young fold mountains. Some mountains are permanently frozen to form slow moving rivers of snow and ice called glaciers. There are some mountains which we cannot see as they are under the sea. On the basis of their origin, mountains are generally classified into four types. These are fold, the first one is fold. Second one is block, third one is volcanic, fourth one is residual. Fold mountains. Fold mountains are formed by the internal processes of the earth. These mountains are formed due to the push of tectonic forces in the lithospheric plates. This push or compression causes the rock layers to fold. Under the impact of the forces of compression, the horizontal rock strata crumbles into a series of upward folds and downward folds. The upward folds are called anticlines and the downward folds are called synclines. The gradual uplifting of folds to form the fall mountain take place in different stages. Almost all the major mountains under this category were formed during the recent period of geological history. That is why they are known as young fold mountains. The Himalayas, the Alps, the Rockies, the Andes, and the young fold mountains. On the other hand, the old fold mountains have been denuded and worn out by external forces of denudation. The Urals, the Appalachians, the Aravalis are some of the old mountains. Block Mountains 
block mountains are created when large areas are displaced vertically vertically between two cracks or faults the blocks which are uplifted are called host or mountains while those which are lowered are called graben or rift valleys the vosges mountains and the rhine valley of europe are examples of these types of mountains volcanic mountains whenever there is an eruption of volcano the lava comes out and spread around the volcanic pipe with the passage of time this lava solidifies and gives rise to a cone shaped mountain called volcanic mountain mount vesuvius in italy mount fujiyama in japan and mount mauna kea in hawaii are the examples of volcanic mountains so children let's connect to geography mountain kea in hawaii is a volcanic peak its height is 10000 205 meters higher than the mount everest the last one is residual mountains some of the mountains which used to be very high during the earlier period of geological history have now been worn out by external agents of denudation like rainwater glacier wind etc hence they are also known as mountains of circum denudation or relict mountains the aravallis and the nilgiris in india are such examples usefulness of mountains mountains are undoubtedly uneven surfaces they have proved their usefulness in many ways melting of snow from the mountains is the source of fresh water rivers example ganga yamuna satluj indus etc forces on the mountain slopes are the sources of medicinal herbs soft wood for paper fuel wood resins and habitat for animals tea gardens and fruit orchards are developed on mountain slopes mountains are natural barriers and act as climatic divide the himalaya stops the cold winds and from china to enter india and prevents the moist winds from going into china mountains are storehouses of minerals and building stones today we have also encouraged several adventurous sports like hand gliding river rafting skiing etc so children in the picture are you able to see the fruit orchard so let's connect to geography the world's two longest mountain ranges are the andes south america and the rocky mountains that is in north america the lengths of these ranges are about 4500 km and 3000 km respectively the himalayas with the length of about 2400 km are at third place in terms of length plateaus plateaus are also called the table lands a plateau is an elevated area as compared to its surrounding areas it is flat at the top with steep sides on either side its height is more than a plain and lesser than a mountain its average height varies from the sea level usually between 300 to 900 meters like mountain some plateaus are old while others are comparatively young old plateaus are lower and stretch over greater area some plateaus have steep slope on one side only and on the other side they have a gentle slope for example the deccan plateau has a steep slope towards the west and a gentle slope towards the east The Tibet Plateau is the highest plateau in the world with a height of 4000 to 6000 meters above the mean sea level and is called the roof of the world. Every continent has plateaus. Usually plateaus are rich in minerals. See the types of plateaus. 
Platyus can be further classified according to their shape, size, structure, origin and surrounding. The first one is Intermountain Plateaus. The Plateaus which are bordered by the mountains from all sides. For example, Plateaus of Tibet, Bolivia and Mexico. Piedmont Plateau. The plateaus which are bordered by a mountain from one side and by a sea or a plain from the other. Best example is the plateau of Patagonia in Argentina. Continental Plateau. These plateaus are usually surrounded by either the sea or plains from all sides. They are formed away from the mountains. Arabian Peninsula is the best example. So, children, let's see the usefulness of plateaus. Plateaus are useful in many ways. They are storehouse of metallic minerals and precious stones. Myanmar is famous for rubies. South Africa for gold and diamond deposits. Chota Nagpur Plateau of India for iron ore and manganese deposits. Waterfall in Plateau region not only provide scenic beauty but also sites for producing hydroelectricity. As you see in the picture, this is a picture of a Chota Nagpur Plateau. So the children, we are moving towards the plains. The flat low-lying areas are known as plains. They are about 200 meter above mean sea level. Some plains are leveled while some may be rolling types. Many plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries. The rivers which flow from high elevation like mountains carry sand, silt and clay with them. Once the river reach the low lying area, they deposit their load. The continuous process of deposition forms the plains. Many plains are also formed by movement of glaciers and winds. So now see the types of plains. The following are the main types of plains. Alluvial plains. These plains are made up of the sediments carried by the rivers Ganga, Brahmaputra plain, Yangtze plains are the example of the alluvial plains. The second one is Delta Plains. These are plains formed at the mouth of the rivers by its distributaries. For example, Lombardy Plain in Italy and was formed by River Po and its distributaries. The third one is Coastal Plains. These plains have low elevation rise gently from the shore. Most of these plains are caused by the uplift of the continental shelf. Eastern and Western Coastal Plains of India are the best examples of these plains. Usefulness of Plains Plains are very important for mankind. River plains have been the cradles of civilizations example in this valley in India and Pakistan. Egyptian civilization in Northeast Africa Huangho and Yangtze valleys in China due to fertile soil for farming and water for irrigation. Construction of road, rail network and buildings is easy. Plains favor agriculture, industrial and other commercial activities on a large scale. Submarine relief the ocean basins have the counterparts of almost all the major landforms such as mountains, ridges, plateaus, plains, canyons, etc. Some of the relief features of the ocean submarine relief are given below through the ocean profile. Sea mount. A single mountain on the ocean floor is called a sea mount. It may rise from the ocean floor above the level of sea water and become an island in the island of Hawaii. Mount Mauna Kea is actually the top part of a submarine mountain which is even higher than Mount Everest on the land. 
ocean trench. There are vast plateaus and deep valleys between mountain ranges on the ocean floor. At places, there are very deep gaps called trenches in the seabed. Ocean trenches are believed to be formed due to faulting on the ocean floor. These trenches are formed very deep on the ocean floor. The deepest trench as we know is the Mariana Trench which is more than 11,000 meters deep in the Pacific Ocean. Trenches are often known as ocean deeps. Continental Shelf it is generally rich in petroleum and often provide an excellent area for fishing because the depth of water is shallow. Continental slope From the coast towards the open sea, there is a stretch of shallow sea. The depth of sea water goes on increasing away from the coast under the sea very gradually. This part of the ocean is called continental shelf. Beyond the continental shelf, there is an abrupt or step slope under the sea till the floor of the ocean. This part of the ocean is called continental slope. Landforms and people. People have been living in area with various landforms, but the plain have always been more preferred for habitation than mountain regions. This is because it is easier to grow crops, build houses and build transport network system in the plains than in mountain areas. Have you ever been to a hill station? May you have noted that not all areas in the mountains are connected by roads. Often people have to walk long distances to reach their destination. In the plains, most areas have roads and infrastructure. In mountainous areas, building houses is very difficult. The land has to first level and then house are constructed. Cultivation too is not easy in mountain areas as the land is not leveled. The terrain makes it difficult for people to grow crops because of the steep slopes. People resort to terrace farming in such areas. As the name suggests, terrace farming involves constructing graduated steps or terrace to do farming. From a step slope may level plains resembling steps are created on which crop can be grown. This also prevents the water flowing out. Hence, living on the plain is much easier than living in the mountains. However, many people do live in the hills. Similarly, at high altitudes, houses are built with sloping roof. This is because in mountain regions, there is a lot of snowfall and the snow accumulates on the roof. Accumulation of snow may cause the roof to break. So, sloping roofs are made so that the snow slides down the roof preventing damage. People also live in volcanic and earthquake prone areas. In Greece, Japan, the houses are built of spatial material so that it can withstand minor earthquakes. At times, volcanic eruptions and earthquake cause major loss of life and property. Many people live near food prawns areas. In such areas, the houses are built on stilts. Humans have been adapting to survive in various landforms since ages. So children, it's time to wrap up. So the various landforms of the earth are result of internal and external forces. There are three major landforms on the earth's surface, mountains, plateaus, and plains. Mountains are land masses of the earth's surface rising abruptly from the surrounding areas. Mountains are of four types, fold, block, volcanic, residual. 
a plateau is an elevated area as compared to its surrounding areas plateaus are of three types intermontane pedimont and continental the flat low lying areas are known as plains and the last one is plains are of three types alluvial delta and coastal so children it's time to take your leave bye we'll meet in the next class